てから道なさい。<laughs> Damn, even as a kid, man. It's a deep voice. <laughs> Hello, lovelies. I'm C, and welcome back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden, where we get more of Itachi's depressing life. Yay. Yay. Yeah, let's just get straight into the episode and be depressed. <laughs> How does he even know all of this? Oh. Yeah, my man was spot on both sides. Itachi, you are a pipe of the pipe. This poor man. I even said that. I even said that. I even said that. Yeah, that's a good question. Is it just because he's a shinobi? Oh, that's right. Mm. So it wasn't just because Yeah, it wasn't just because he wanted um to be a good shinobi. He also didn't want war. That just seems so extreme. Like there feels like there needs to be more to this. I feel like he's not telling the full story. Like, it's not even like he's lying per se. It's just like, it feels like there's more to this. Because it's like, if that was the case, why did he kill his mom? Why'd he kill the kids? Yeah, but everybody? そこで伊達は決めたのだ。己の手で一族の歴史に幕を下ろすことを。内派を憎み、裏切ったのではない。仕方なかったのだ。里の起こりからの差別。そして確執の杖。それを立った一人で背負い込み、己を犠牲にした伊達の決断を責めることは誰にもできまい。事実はあの頃の俺も戦争の記憶を伴っていた。戦場のこの
crazy. Exact. I knew it. Knew it. I knew it. Give him motivation. So that's why he knew that he would that Sasuke would beat him. That's not the full story. I don't think he's lying, he's just not being transparent. <laughs> yeah, see now it's hard like now you're re like reorganizing your whole mindset. He never killed you. He, yeah. Exactly. I knew it. That's what I kept saying. He had so many opportunities. And he never did. He could have killed Naruto. He could have killed Sasuke. He could have done all these things that he never did. Damn. So he just wanted to get rid of that part of Orochimaru in him. Wow. Oh. Oh.イタチが仕組んだ戦いだった。お前の目を奪うという芝居を最後まで演じきって Wow. No, I think in that sense, he wanted, yeah, exactly. I don't think he was. I don't think he was. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't necessarily think um, Madara is evil, but I think he has his own agenda and a lot of anger and need for revenge, and he wants to use Sasuke. Yes, he did. Oh, no, the pain this is going to cause him, man. Yeah, the pain this is going to cause him. Damn. Exactly. He's trying to keep his mind from feeling the pain that it's going to cause knowing that his brother was doing all this for him. His lover? Who that? サトのためにどう報を殺しまくった男が。どうしてもお前を殺せなかった。その意味はわかるか。あいつにとってお前の命は里よりも重かったのだ。Look how broken he is, man. The love he had for him, man. ただいま。兄さん、お帰り。ね、一緒に遊ぼう、兄さん。ねえねえ、何して遊ぶ？ほら、サスケ。兄さんはアカデミーの宿題があるんだから、それが終わってからにしなさい。<laughs> Damn, even as a kid, man, it's a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like I can't stop crying I did not expect to be crying over Itachi, <laughs> like of all people. I always like qu questioned his story, but like just knowing like how much he gave up for Sasuke and then knowing that he could never be his brother again in the sense where before, you know, like, he expects Sasuke to always want to be around him, always want to do things with him, always want to just, you know, idolize and and look up to him. And and then it's just like, you know, anytime he sees him, he's trying to kill him. It's, it's just like a complete 180. And it's just so sad to think the only time he could be his brother again was at the very end and I don't know, that just made me sad. Like shit. And I I I don't I don't completely believe um Madara. I feel like he's manipulating Sasuke. And like when he said, Oh, Itachi lied, I don't think Itachi lied. I do think he brought the nine tails. Especially because if we even go back further, um, the Nine Tails even said how much he hates those eyes and mentioned Madara by name. So I don't think it's out of left field to assume that he was the one who set him loose in the Hidden Leaf Village and tried to frame the Uchiha. Because it seems like his grudge is not just against the Hidden Leaf Village, it was also against the Uchiha clan for not following him back in the day. So I honestly think there has to be more to what happened with Itachi that Madara is not saying. Because... He's like, oh yeah, he talks like, I want to do it all myself, blah, 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 blah. So like, how are you an accomplice if you didn't do shit? Like, what was your role in this? Because he had to have done something. And that's why it's, that's why I think Madara is like, he's so dangerous. Because it's like, he mixed truth with lies to a certain degree. Like, he gave so much that was real that the little lies he probably sprinkled in would go unnoticed because in the grand scheme of things, he was telling most of the truth. And I knew that, you know, like Itachi probably didn't want Sasuke to know because he feared he would want to join um, the Akatsuki or maybe just specifically uh, Madara and just go after the Hidden Leaf Village. And it's sad because, like, obviously that meant that 
that's not what he wanted for Sasuke. He didn't want him to continue to have to, you know, fight this war against the heathen, the, uh, the Henley village. He wanted him safe and he wanted to protect him. And it's sad that like that poison was able to seep in. And it's like everything that Itachi did not want for him is kind of like the route he's taking. So I, I, I don't know if, if he's trying, if he's really just so blinded by his anger that he, he's not seeing what's going on around him because he did suspect, um, Madara before. So I'm kind of like back and forth on like, does he, does he feel like he's lying? But at the same time, it's like he... So much of it could have, like, it was truthful that he's angry and wants his revenge. Like, I don't know. There's so many ways this can go. Because I know Sasuke is not stupid. But when you're driven by emotion, you don't always think about all of the pieces as clearly until after you've had some time to really, like, organize your emotions. And because he was, like, taken advantage of during his most vulnerable moment, I do wonder whether or not he's aware he's been manipulated or if he's just angry. <laughs> so I'm like, when he says he's going after the head in Leaf Village, I don't know if that's just pure anger or if he's actually trying to play him, like play um, Madara and just like kind of make him think he's on side. I don't know. Like it seemed like Itachi really just didn't want him around him. So I don't know if Sasuke is really just not seeing that or what's happening, but who the hell knows, man? When you're angry and in your feelings like that, you can do some stupid shit. So I wouldn't blame him if right now he's just like, I want revenge. <laughs> because it's like he had to, he set so much of his sights on his brother being the enemy that to now know his brother was the furthest thing from his enemy, he has to kind of. He has to switch those feelings to something else just to keep him from feeling like, I, I guess, the full effect of what he's lost in the sense where it's like he spent so long hating somebody who, who loved him so dearly and who, as much as he was angry, he did love. And then it's easy to blame the people who took that person away from you. But I think there's more to this story. I definitely think um, Madara had more to to do with that that cleansing of the Uchiha clan. I, I I definitely feel like he's he's downplaying his role in all of this, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was partially the reason why Itachi did what he did. But. That's, I'm sure, I'm not going to get information on for a while because I highly doubt the man's going to be like, well, Sasuke, I actually lied. <laughs> I did a little bit more than you think. But, um, damn, man. R.I.P. Tachi. I definitely was, a, like, I was afraid of him when he first was introduced, but I now understand him a lot better than before. And I still know there's probably more again our narr our not narrator our not narrator our storyteller wasn't the most reliable i think so i'm sure there's more but from what i've gathered he genuinely loved sasuke very dearly and he went out of his way to you know try as hard as he could to motivate it and push him to still be the best version of himself and to aim for heights beyond even what he could accomplish. So, you know, for everything else he's done, pretty shitty. He did some pretty shitty things, but no one can say he does not love his brother. And wow, that's why he went to the Hidden Leaf Village, literally to tell Mans, like, you make sure you stay away from my brother. <laughs> I'm still watching you. <laughs> Damn. Damn, the power move. Damn. Okay, I kind of do like Itachi. Okay, I'll, I'll admit it. I do kind of like Itachi. I don't condone his actions. But again, I still feel like there's more to this story. 
and I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'm wrong in everything that was told to us was the truth, but I'm a pessimist. <laughs> I don't think that was the full truth. But yeah, damn. Now he's going for the Hidden Leaf Village. I don't know. Poor Naruto, man. He can't catch a break. He always just misses him. And then Sasuke gets poisoned by somebody. <laughs> like, shit. But if you guys like this reaction, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all of you on Patreon for your continued support. And I will see you in the next episodes of Naruto Shippuden. Bye.